Hey YouTube, in this video we're briefly going to talk about homomorphisms and what they mean. So homomorphisms. So we're going to look at group homomorphisms. So the setup for this is that we have two groups. So G and H are groups. Okay, so let's draw a picture over here of maybe this is G. And then over here, um, maybe this is uh, H. And we'll say, so we say phi from G to H, so it's a function, is a group homomorphism. A group homomorphism if uh, for all x, y in G, phi satisfies the following property. So if you take phi of x times y, so this multiplication here is happening in G. So this is multiplication in G. Well, phi preserves the multiplications. So this should be phi of x times phi of y. And this multiplication here, this happens in H. So let's add to this picture so that maybe it makes um, a little bit more sense. So here's, say, the element uh, x, y in G. And so phi takes this element and sends it to another element uh, in H. And that element is phi of x times phi of y. So this is our mapping phi. So phi takes x, y and sends it to phi of x times phi of y. So uh, the multiplication in G, in a certain sense, corresponds to the multiplication in H. They could be different operations. You could have, say, addition in G and regular multiplication in H and still have a group homomorphism. So phi preserves the group operation. That's often what people say. So phi preserves the group operation. So the operation is preserved. So multiplication in G corresponds to multiplication in H. So that's the definition of a group homomorphism, right? Group homomorphisms are central uh, to the study of abstract algebra. Let's go ahead and do like an example of just a simple group homomorphism, uh, one you've probably seen before. Um, I think I can squeeze it in up here, so I'll say example. So let's look at uh, phi from, and our first group will be the set of real numbers under addition to the set of positive real numbers under multiplication. Okay, and uh, our function here, phi, is defined as uh, phi of x equals e to the x. Probably one of the most important, if not the most important function in all of mathematics. So this is a group homomorphism, right? Uh, let, let's, let's show it. So phi is a group homomorphism, homomorphism. since, and so to show it, we just have to show that uh, phi of x, y equals phi of x times phi of y. Now here, it's actually phi of x plus y, right? Because this is the operation uh, in the first group, right? This, this, is, this here's our g, this here's our h, so this is the operation in g, right? It's more addition, right? That's equal to e to the x plus y. Then you can use uh, properties of exponents, right? This is e to the x times e to the y. And that's equal to phi of x times phi of y. And this is true for all x, y, right? For all x, y in the set of real numbers. So that shows that phi is a group homomorphism. So e to the x is a classic example of a group homomorphism. I think that's it. I'll stop the video here. And in the videos that follow, maybe later, I'll upload more examples of group homomorphism group homomorphisms, 
and we'll talk about one-to-one -one homomorphisms and onto homomorphisms and isomorphisms. That's it. Thanks for watching.